I have a proposal. It's a few decades ahead of time, but um, there's something called Pornhub, and if you want to become an actress, I can make you one. Just, just saying, me and you can make a couple videos. Put them on the, put them on the hub. Know what I'm saying? Come in, won't you? Yeah, you seem very shaken up. Nice tits, though. Mrs. Patterson, I'd like to uh, motorboat those fun bags, if I, if can I may. Can you tell me we're friends? Good friends. Yeah. You expect me to believe that? The type of, uh, Look, I put my I'm dick in your vagine divorce. kind of friends. He suggested I earn the money on my back. I mean, if you're still keen for the idea, I'll chuck you a fitty if you want to lie down and take a couple of, uh, couple of minutes. I only need about two of them. Probably why she's got big, big hooters, because, uh, it takes the attention off her fucking you're face. Right. One more request for, for them titties? No? Okay. What is going on, YouTube Universe? This is Zero, bringing you guys another installment of L.A. Noir. Sit back, relax, it's game time. But before game time, it's coffee time, because, uh... <sighs> Zero needs his juice. Ooh, flashback. Any plans for Weekend Liberty, Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at 6. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Are they cute? Final inspection before Liberty. This rifle's not regulation, soldier. Good job, Kelso. I cut a couple of them out in the first episode because they take a lot of time up, but uh, these are flashbacks into Phelps' past. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Back when he Ball was in inspection. the war. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. Told you it wasn't no, regulation. Is. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the boar's immaculate. Weekend liberty cancelled. Two-day field drill. Man. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. You do that, Kelso. A marriage made in heaven. I remember this mission. Because if you're joining me for the first time, I have played this game before. It's just, uh, it's been a while. Oh, you poor bastard. Well. Just drive off and pretend it didn't happen, right? All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit-and-run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down. Hit-and-run victim, round. hit and run vehicle, and Ray's Cafe. Beautiful. Cases you have unlocked can be accessed for replay via the cases section of the main menu, which we won't do. But we played a DLC mission in yesterday's episode, and that was uh, that was fun because I don't recall doing that the first time around. Because uh, it's been a while since I've played this game. I've literally played it the first time it came out, maybe a couple of times after that, but I haven't played it since around the time it did come out. So it's been oh, it's been well over ten years now since I played this game. It, I still feel really good about the fact that I'm getting some of these things still correct, just off of memory. Um, but this mission I remember all too well. I won't, uh, divulge in the, the case itself, because I don't want to give the storyline of the case away. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. But if she this is your first time coming to my channel, I'm welcome. No and, uh, if He's you're returning, and the DA welcome back. Convictions. I'll convince him to let Brand new go. case underway. How you do that? So glad we're playing this game. I'll give him something better. And I love that the dialogue between Bukowski and Phelps, after every case is wrapped up, is about the previous case. Um, just the 
the layers that this game really puts forward, especially for its time, um, groundbreaking in many ways. You poor bastard, knocked his hat clean off. Hello, barkeep. Detectives, over here. Okie croaky. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Vic is a white male named Lester Patterson. Walked out of the bar and into the street. What have we got? There and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Mm -hmm. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old, she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? No, did she now? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're going to take a look around. Kind of ironic that she left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road because uh, yellow brick road is what my dick is called. Not really, but, you know, if you're a munchkin, you, you, you know, I'm, I'm not going to get into it, okay? There's plenty of Wizard of Oz dick jokes I can make right now. But we're not going to go there. Look at this Careful fucking. Where you step in, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your Body desk. traveled a good twenty feet. Like I just got told off for standing on evidence, even though I'm allowed to touch the bodies without gloves. This blood is a long way from the body. Car must have been going like a bat out of hell. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. That's right. He did, we saw it. Let's not trample on the blood again. Let's go Don't. play with the dead body for a little bit. You should take a look. Let me just straddle this man. Car must have struck him from behind. Because apparently I love hopping on top of dead bodies. Necrophiliac, I think, is what they call people. They don't move around as much, so they're easier to root. Oh! Patterson has life insurance. Beneficiaries stand to make $16,000. We can notify next of kin. Because we've got an address. We'll take that money. A couple of dollars. Couple, couple of dollary dues. I don't think he's going to miss it. He's dead. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Okay, now, we could, let's pick up the hat. I know it's not a clue, but I've noticed the last two cases we've done, we've only got four out of five stars because we've missed two clues in both of those cases. And I think it's because we're not picking up things that don't act as clues, but are interactable. Like this here. These things are interactable. So I'm going to look at them. Even though I know they mean shit. Just in case the game is recognizing them as clues, even though they're not. not much help. But we're going to come here anyway, because uh, the coroner said look for a car with a hood ornament. However, I know better. A knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. Is it a hit and run case, case we'll though? Because um, scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. I put to you guys at home. If you watch the intro of this episode again, did he not stumble holding his chest onto the road? I'm just, I'm just saying. She's all yours, detective. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ms. Perry. Yes. I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. She can call me the Wizard of Oz because I've got something in my big black bag for her, you know what I'm saying? Can you tell us what happened? Well, 
I uh, came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. You're a good girl, aren't you there, Miss Perry? Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. It did look like one in the opening to the to the video. You did know what you I'm see saying? the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three C eight. Argument overheard. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Miss Perry. Why isn't she keeping eye contact with me? It's time to put the bad cop routine on. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. The people arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. Yeah, thanks, Bukowski. Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take Look. the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Look, Miss Perry. I have a, uh... I have a proposal. It's a few decades ahead of time, but um, there's something called Pornhub, and if you want to become an actress, I can make you one. Just, just saying, me and you can make a couple videos. Put them on the, put them on the hub. Know what I'm saying? Shrink to the stars promises mental breakthrough. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. Courtney was in the war. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. Coffee time. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. If we can reveal the root of the problem, then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually of benefit to society at large. Or are you just making up excuses to make yourself feel better there, Doctor? As I've said in previous episodes, it's important to look at those newspapers and remember the story that's happening because um, it's going to play out later on in the game. Hello, Mr. Barkeep. Real happy this is when you marry I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. Okay, Dudley, let's do this. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Okay, Squinty McSquinterton. Fucking looked away while he was trying to talk to me. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. 
Don't make me go bad cop again, Dudley. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Finally, a little bit of truth coming out of your mouth, I see. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Yeah, you sly bastard. See, it's good to look for visual clues, and in this game, a lot of uh, looking away from you is an indication to go bad cop because they're holding a little bit of information from you. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo? Leroy Jenkins. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. You're full of shit, you bastard. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? Or we'll play rough. When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. So what you're saying, Lynch, you get is... get anything uh, out of the regulars? These guys here stood to make some money. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go You said there's a poker game out back, day. though. Can we join? And Lester was a fan of the love tap. So this is why everybody comes to raise. I'm stumped. Ideas? You could use the phone in the back of the bar. Call in what we have on the suspect vehicle. Okay. Operator, give we'll me a dispatch. Go back to Miss Perry, play a little bit of poker, you know what I'm saying? Putting you through now. Phelps, badge number 1247. Phelps, 1247. I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, detective. Thank you. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Well, well, well. Thanks, Looks like we caught a break on this one. Let's go visit this Mr. Shelton, shall we? Go back to my car. Trample some blood all over the place because uh, that's how I roll. And Bukowski's on the drive. The so where you want to go? We're going straight to Shelton. He is the man that hit him with the car after all. So we'll get the hit and run out of the way first before we dive into something that could potentially be a lot more sinister. And premeditated. Shelton Residence, seven forty three AM. Oh, you look to be in a hurry, sir. Still got blood on the fucking that son of a bitch on the right fender. There. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Jesus Christ. We should have seen that coming, huh? We're that supposed to be top-rate detectives. And I've got a drive, which means we could be, uh, we could be racking up some damage here. Which I'm really not a fan of, because I want to get five stars. The 
Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Fucking these cars are made of that asshole get literal away. fucking steel. Can't fuck. Oh my god. Fucking indestructible fucking material, this car. Oh my god. In all fairness, that guy was already hit before I ran him over, so... He's heading into the station. Go on, get after him. All right, I give up. How does a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it, I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I good uh, yeah, good question. Before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. We should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. That's not a bad idea. You come all hard at the prospect of paperwork, don't you? Off we go, Bukowski. So the wife was there when it happened, but then left the scene. You're right. That's pretty unusual behavior. That's what I'm saying. She could be in shock. I saw some people do some strange things in the war after their buddies got hurt. Maybe. Maybe she doesn't give a fuck. According to the patrons, her old man was a piece of work. You don't think... Phelps, the guy was run over. So it worked out well for the I know people. how this is going to so play what? out. Maybe she deserved I think, to uh... Who knows? I think you guys at home can start putting some pieces together too, because this puzzle fits in a different way than what the, it's uh, being presented on the front of the box. You know what I'm saying? Patterson Residence, 9 a.m. Check their mailbox. Let's go through the back door. Let's, uh... Some people like it that way. Oh, have a look. If it isn't Leo from Charmed. You know, all bad of here, White Lighter? Hey? Eh? Okay, so it turns out going through the back door wasn't a good idea because we can't even get through the fucking back door, so... Oh, natural it is. Yes? Hello? This is Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Yeah, you seem very shaken up. Nice tits, though. Mrs. Patterson, I'd like to, uh, motorboat those fun bags if I if Can I you may. tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here I beg I... your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Yeah, Mr. Nice Jenkins. You're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. You're full of shit. It wasn't good. 
What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. Yeah. You expect me to believe that? The type of, uh, Look, I put my I dick in your vagine kind of friends. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Yeah, did you have time to clean the cum up off the bed sheets? Jesus. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walks straight into the path of an oncoming car. Oh, bitch, could you have any more of a fucking fake face? Look at that. Fucking even with makeup, that is a ugly son bitch. You expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. Probably why she's got big, big hooters because uh, takes the attention off her fucking you were face. You arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? I'll keep bad copping if you're going to keep lying to me, bitch. Admit it. You were baiting him. Pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. I mean, if you're still keen for the idea, I'll chuck you a fitty if you want to lie down and take a couple of, uh... A couple of minutes, I only need about two of them. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. You lying bitch. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? Yeah, I will. How about insurance? You increase the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, peanut, all you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run, detective. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I can see what a tough time you're having with all this. Lying bitch. And you, you smug bastard. I'll fucking slap that look right off your face. One more request for them titties? No? Okay. We're gonna make a phone call, it seems. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? How can I help, detective? Any messages? Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Well. If you're a necrophiliac, today's your lucky day because we're going to go see the body for a second time. Maybe with a little bit less clothing on this time around. Los Angeles County Morgue. City Morgue, you kill him, we chill him. Ha! And a mop. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. You're kidding me. Good Been thing we found that knife, huh? Three years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have See? the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Pays Sabo to find all witness. them clues. Get out of the way, Bukowski. 
had we not have found the knife, then um, we'd have to go back and try to find it again. So it's a good thing you we were the first time around. You go over the case notes. And where exactly are we going? You should know where we're going, Bukowski. We're going back to the Patterson Re Re Just fucking get rid of Bukowski. Get in the car. Fuck's sake. Spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. Oh, they're whispering in my ear, telling me how we had to get rid of them, how good it could be, all oh, the money we could claim, all oh, that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up! You had covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with it. You think I'm going to fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him, for God's sake! Oh, Too there goes late, my Sabo. chance to have fun with the titties. Thanks for the help, White Lighter. Not. Sabo, stop or I will shoot. Fuck. That's your only chance to nab him before he gets too far ahead and, uh... Last chance to surrender, Sabo. Oh, I got him. Nice, we didn't have to kill him. Oh, that's a good feeling. That is a good feeling. So, I give you a hit and run. You bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first-degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep Thank you, sir. Good work. Thank you, sir. Please tell me we got five stars this time around, because I think we found everything and we got all the answers correct. Oh, yes. Come on. F five stars. Yes. Another visit to Ray's and you would have seen what Leroy was prepared to do to avoid jail. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but this was a very successful episode. We got all the clues found. We did all the correct questions, and I'm starting to think here, we found the knife, the two things on the body, we then had the blood stain on the road, the brakes, see, I think looking at those items might have counted in the end. At any rate, I think now what we need to do is we need to have a look at every single item we can physically pick up in a case, just to make sure... It's not a clue that's going to be added to this scorecard, but Valorous, case closed, five out of five stars. We didn't have to kill Leroy in the end, which could have been an outcome, um, and I don't know whether that would have affected a five-star rating or not, but so glad we managed to get our first five-star case done. The next case we take on, I believe, is the last case as part of the traffic unit before we get moved up to homicide. So, very keen to get that underway. And we unlocked a new suit. So, I'm going to start having a look at some suits and try to get our man looking a little bit more dapper. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please do myself a favor. Hit that like button down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if this is the first time you are visiting my channel or you've missed any episodes along the way, playlist in the description. You guys are welcome. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.